Welcome back. What good is summer if we can't get out and enjoy it? But most of us can only go as far as our money is going to let us. And guess what? That's not nearly as far as it used to be. You may be painfully aware of the numbers that I'm about to show you, but for everybody else, uh, this may come as a shock. And these are conservative estimates. But if you want to take a quick trip to Disneyland, a family of four is going to spend more than $1,000 on four one-day tickets, a night at the Disneyland Hotel, and parking. And that is not counting your travel costs or food. So, uh, if that's too rich for your blood, let's try a ball game. Same family, depending on which major league park that they visit, can drop anywhere from $120 to $320 for one game. But an average cost for four tickets, beer, sodas, hot dogs, and parking, $204. Maybe let's try the movies instead. Four tickets, four sodas, two popcorns, and some candy. That's not even what you normally buy, but that is over $68. So what's a red-blooded American supposed to do for fun these days? Stay home and jump on the summer reading list? Maybe not. Here to help us get the most bang for our summertime bucks is the outside insider travel expert, Janine Tornator. Janine, thank you for being here. I'm, I really need some hope here. How can I save money if I want to take my, my kids to an amusement park? Well, look, you're right. Amusement parks are expensive, but there are things that you can do. Number one, if you're planning to go, is to go online and book your tickets in advance. Do not wait and get them day of at the ticket window. You're always going to find that they're cheaper online in advance. And if you're planning on going more than one day, you want to book those multi-day tickets because if you do package multi-days together, you will get discounts that way. Also, if you're traveling and you're looking at staying at a hotel, don't stay on the amusement park property. There's a lot of hotels usually a mile or two away you want to look for one that has free shuttle service so you don't have to pay for parking at the amusement park and also free breakfast and you'll find that at a lot of hotels that are just outside these amusement parks if you're going to a city and you're looking to visit museums and attractions there's what's called the city pass and a lot of our major u.s cities that gives you discounts for multiple um, attractions and museums so you want to check that out and then wherever you're going any kind of amusement parks is bring your own snacks water pack a lunch go on their website ahead of time and see what you are allowed to bring in there. Some amusement parks will even allow you to bring coolers in so they can really accommodate okay. your entire piece. Okay, I've only got a couple seconds left, but for baseball, you look for the seasonal flash sales and promotions, you ask about the ticket specials at the ticket office, you bring your own waters and snacks, which is always smart, and you look for the minor league teams because lots of minor league games are cheaper and 24 ball stadiums around will allow you to bring in your own food. But can you do me like 10 seconds on, on how to beat the prices at a movie theater? Because that's killing us. Yes, really quickly, skip the 3D movies, just go to the regular movies, um, get the large popcorn, get the small bags, share it with your family. Um, if you are frequenting movies, sign up for the loyalty programs. Those can be really good deals. Um, and look, a lot of our local towns and cities have outdoor movie nights, so that can be a really great, entirely free option. Smart. Smart, smart. Or go to the beach, go hiking, county fairs, camping, or library programs. I'm sorry I'm racing through them, but I want to make sure everybody gets the info. Janine Tornator, thank you. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.